Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description, the cheapest I found it for is 500 bucks. I repeat, 500 bucks. Now this one comes in two different colors, you got glazed green and glazed black. Now on a side note, you got the Oppo Reno 8 Pro Plus which is exactly the same phone, and it does come in a few different colors, but that's region specific. Oppo Reno 8 Pro and Pro Plus, the same exact phone. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2412. Then that's 394 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, glass on the back, an aluminum frame, HDR 10 plus, up to 800 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Max with the Mali G610 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? That's low tier flagship specs, bro. Upper tier, mid range, low tier flagship specs. Now, you got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 12 with color OS 12.1 skin on top. Now you got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 80 watt fast charge. I repeat, 80 watt fast charge. Now Oppo claims you can charge your phone from zero to 50% in 11 minutes and zero to 100% in 32 minutes. Now on a side note, in my testing, it took me 40 minutes to charge from zero to 100. So that's incredible. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got the 50 megapixel wide angle, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro sensor. Now the 50 megapixel, that's the Sony IMX sensor. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second and full HD at 60 frames per second. You got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now you also have ear gestures, and I'll show you how they work in a minute, but that's like the old school Pixel phones. When you're watching a YouTube video, you can put your palm out to pause it. You can swipe back and forth, scroll up and down on Facebook and Twitter. Ear gestures. All right, so all of that for 500 bucks, what's missing? There's no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no quad HD display, no expandable memory, no 4K 60 frames per second, no wireless charge, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes, I white love shoes. my white shoes. Calm down. Okay, here we go. Oppo Reno 8 Pro 5G. Okay, now this is 12 gigs. 256 gigs of storage. Okay, nice solid uh, presentation so far. Okay, blue and black, that's a nice theme. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna be your, feels like a case in here. Okay, perfect. You got a little gel skin case. Okay, I love when companies throw that in there. Get some protection. Got your usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. Sim ejection tool, go ahead and save that. That's it. This is going to be your device, and of course, 80 watt fast charging brick in the box. Here we go. Samsung, Apple, Google, pay attention. 80 watt fast charging brick in the box, okay? If you're going to advertise fast charge, prove it. And of course, this is going to be, let's see if it's USB Type-C to USB-A. This is USB-A, nope. It is, USB-A to USB Type-C. No reason to take all this stuff out. Okay, now for the device. Now this is the uh, glazed green color. Let's get a little wipe down, get it nicely glazed up. All right, since it's glazed green, bung. Check this out. Now I gotta be honest with y'all. This is one of the sexiest phones of the year. Now we can debate this in the comment section. Some people say they like it, some people don't. I literally love this design, okay? It looks so sexy, that one piece of glass on the back, this is beautiful. 
beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll set everything up, delete my browsing history. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I'm gonna start off by talking about the few things that I don't like. Now at 500 bucks, I'm not gonna be too petty and too picky, but I do wanna mention a few things. Number one, no IR blaster. Now, most Chinese phones nowadays have IR blasters. All right, shout out to Xiaomi, shout out to Realme, Redmi. I think Oppo should follow suit and throw in the IR blaster. That is so clutch for me. Next, no IP rating. All right, so the phone is not water resistant. Next, no expandable memory. Not the biggest deal in the world, but this phone only comes in 256 gigs of storage. So if you plan on keeping this phone for three years, that might not be enough. Next, no 4K 60 frames per second in the video camera. Okay, you only got 4K 30 frames per second. And lastly, now this is my biggest gripe, no wireless charge. Okay, now I already invested too much money in wireless chargers. I got them all over my house, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the car, under my bed, everywhere. All right, so wireless charge is a mandatory option for me. But again, for 500 bucks, we're not really gonna complain too much. With that being said, this is arguably, now I'm, I'm, I'm the one making the argument, this is one of my favorite built phones of the year. Easily, and definitely one of the sexiest. I might be in the minority. Let me know in the comments, all right? Let me know what y'all think. But this phone just looks so sexy. And the feel, I y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Triple camera setup on the back, okay? You got the LED flash, okay, in the ring shape. Look at the sides of the phone. Now they made the phone flat on the sides. So it gives it that iPhone feel. It gives it that Galaxy S22 feel. Okay, which is, this phone is actually a little bit bigger, but these phones, I love that square rectangular build. And this one nailed it. Now, if y'all know anything about me, you know my favorite design of the year so far is the Oppo Find X5 Pro. I love how Oppo takes one piece of glass and makes the back plate. Look, even last year's Oppo Find X3 Pro is still the sexiest phone to me. Now, I'm actually selling this one to one of my dudes. I hate to let it go, but I gotta pass on the savings to my squad. This is still my favorite built phone probably ever. This is probably number two, and this is right up there. I love it. Look how seamlessly the back transitions into the camera plate. I love it. All right, I love it. On one side, you got your power button with a little hit of green in there. Okay, attention to detail, I like that. On the top, it would've been perfect to have an IR blaster right there. But you got the mic instead. On this side, you got volume up and down, you can see your antenna bands. On the bottom, you got your SIM tray, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot, okay? And the other speaker grill is in the top. Now, if you notice, you do have always on display. Let me get a little wipe down so you can really see that. Always on display. See, I got a picture of the whip, time, date, battery percentage, and look how the notifications come up. The actual app with the colors, I love that, okay? Oppo makes one of the best always on displays in the game. Oppo, Xiaomi, and Samsung, they got the uh, always on display game on lock. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got biometrics, and Oppo makes some of the best. Watch the face unlock. Bang, there it is, let's do three. Bang, two, let's do one more. Bang, now look how fast it is, I'm not gonna look at it. Nothing, as soon as I look at it, bang, <laughs> crazy. And of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Now, that face unlock is so fast, it was unlocking before I could even get my finger up there. Look at that, and it has a little sound. I don't know if y'all can hear that, I'll do it right by the mic. That little ring, welcome to the phone. I like that, and I like that. So the build quality on this is A1, okay? This is one of those phones. Now, when I do my Xiaomi 12 Pro review, this is something that we're gonna talk about. This is one of those phones that you're not gonna wanna put a case on. You're gonna wanna feel this luxurious phone in your hand. It's lightweight, but the square feel on the sides, phone manufacturers, Oppo, Samsung, whoever y'all, whoever's watching this, this is how you gotta keep doing it. All right, the square on the side like this, now I know people think that they uh, jock riding Apple a little bit, 
But nah, this is how I gotta do it, okay? This is an Apple, <laughs> this is an Apple Android phone right here, the way it feels, okay? If you close your eyes and somebody put this in your hand, you would think they just dropped a nice iPhone right into your palm. Real dope. All right, now this is actually the global ROM, okay? This is not the Chinese version. This is the global ROM. Let's go ahead and swipe over. Bang, look at that. You got your Google homepage. This is what I need, okay? Google homepage on the side. That's why I love the global ROMs. Now, somebody asked me, all right, when a new phone comes out, should I just run out and get the Chinese version or wait to the global ROM? Same thing on my Oppo uh, uh, X5 Pro, global ROM. If you live in China, then get the Chinese ROM. But if you can, all right, if you can't wait, get the Chinese ROM. But if you got if you got time to wait, I would wait for the global ROM. Or if you technically inclined, all right, if you got a little tech savvy to you, you could flash the global ROM yourself when it's available. So get the Chinese one early just so you can have it. Okay, so Google Feed on one side. Now it's running Android 12. So I got all my Android 12 widgets, the ones that I love. Here's my Google, okay, my Gmail. We got the turntable. If I want to play some music, let's see. Let's go to YouTube Music. Let's see what was I playing last. 93 to infinity. Get some volume in it. You know, that's my song. And then when you exit out, you got the actual <laughs> turntable player right there. Got my Netflix, which on a side note, some Chinese phones don't support Netflix. This ain't one of them. Okay. Got Netflix on deck. Of course, I got a big calendar. Got my uh, uh, detailed calendar. All of my Google Notes. Okay, and a bunch of apps, and if you swipe up, all your apps on deck. All right, so let's go through the settings real quick. Now, you got all your, uh, your quick toggles. Everything is on deck. You got screenshot, screen connect, screen record, dark mode. You got, uh, let's hit more. Let's see anything else. You got eye comfort. You got your your wallet for your Google Pay. Let's see, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, why are you got why? <laughs> Let's say Wirecast. You got Screencast, okay? And of course, this phone does have NSC, and you got Oppo Share. Okay, exit out of that. Let's go to settings. Now I'm gonna try to make this quick. Let's go to connections and sharing. We just gotta make sure all of the basic stuff is there. So you got VPNs, NFC, private DNS. You got Android Auto, multi-screen connect. Now that's that is where you, it's similar to Samsung Dex, but it works on your computer. You have to download the uh, the uh, software, and you can you can clone your phone up to three times on three different screens at the same time. So you got multi-screen connect. That's pretty dope. But Samsung Dex takes the cake because it doesn't have to be a computer. It could be a wireless monitor. This you have to use a computer for that. All right, let's go to personalization. Now, on a side note, the Color OS 13 is getting ready to drop. Color OS is one of my favorite skins. Okay, now this is Color OS 12.1, but you got all your great features. Okay, so you got always on display, custom images. Okay, I like that little feature right there, but you could change it if you want. I'll leave it on this one right here that has a little motion. Apply that. Like I said, you can put your, your emoji, your portrait silhouette, text and images, just text, and they got a few pre-installed uh, ones. You got a bunch of themes, no need to go through those. Wallpapers, now I wanna show you these real quick. You got a bunch of live wallpapers. This is probably my favorite Oppo wallpaper. Every time I see this, it brings me back to a little bit of nostalgia when I first got my first Oppo phone. Y'all remember with the slide up camera, the original Oppo Find. I still got that in the house. This is the wallpaper I had, I love it. But you got a bunch of different live wallpapers to choose from. You got online wallpapers. And I just wanna show you this, if you hit more, Say you want to get into some more live wallpapers. This is the one I'm running right now. Okay, so this one right here. I love this one. Now, if you look closely, it's, it's, it's actually moving, but it's moving really slow. Okay, I love that one. But for this video, I'm going to stay with the, uh, let's get nostalgic. And let's take it over to the classic Apple wallpaper. Bong, there it is. Exit out of that. Now, you can change your icons. Change the shape, all that, you know, all that stuff. Fully customizable, okay? You can change your quick settings, okay? I'll update at night. Different color themes, like this is your Android 12 color palette. You can change your different fonts and the sizes. Your fingerprint animation, got a bunch of these to choose from. Each one has a different sound. I like that one, bring. Let's, let's leave it on that one. Okay, that's like a welcoming sound. And of course, you got your edge lighting. You got blue, red, and yellow. So I'm gonna leave it on red. Okay, so that's it for that. Home screen and lock screen, anything we need to see there. 
Let's see. Uh, nothing really. Auto lift or wake the phone. Now, you got to leave that. Raise or wake. That's if you want to have that option where you got your phone on the table. As soon as you pick it up and just look at it, pops open. You got to leave on raise or wake. Okay. Let's go to display and brightness. Okay. Screen color mode. Now, I got mine on vivid. But if you want, you can have natural. And my color temperature, I always leave it on cool. All right, nice and cold. Let's go to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Image sharpener, we gotta leave that on. Why not? Video color boost, leave that on. Keep everything uh, nice and bright. Bright HDR vivid. Auto rotate. Okay, let's see. Screen refresh rate. Okay, so you got 120 hertz or 60 hertz. Okay, no variable rate. I'll leave it on 120. Why not? Screen display. Now, if you want, you can have the notch or no notch. Just have the little punch hole cut out. Sound and vibration. Now, this is what I wanted to talk about. The speakers on this phone sound great. And I would say even better than the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now, wait till y'all see my Xiaomi 12 Pro video. It might be a bloodbath. I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bloodbath for Xiaomi. I don't, nobody tweet Xi Jinping and tell him that I said that. Don't, don't tweet him and tell him because he's going to be waiting for me. But that, that might be a bloodbath because that phone, man, that phone is kind of disappointing me in, in a few different ways. But I'll save that for my full review, which I'm working on right now. Anyway, I said that to say this. The speakers on this phone sound better than the speakers on the Xiaomi 12 Pro. And that phone I paid 1200 bucks for. Okay, excellent speakers on this, excellent haptic feedback. Let's go to our notification status, but nothing to see there, nothing to see there, nothing to see there. Let's go to our privacy and security. Okay, you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and of course you can use Bluetooth devices. Let's see, uh, battery. Okay, 80 watt fast charging. Now, like I said, I did my test because I wanted to see if you could charge this in 30 minutes. Zero to 100%, it's, for me, it took me 41 minutes. But that's excellent. I have 41 minutes, zero to 50% in about 10 minutes. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. So even though this phone doesn't have wireless charge, you don't really need wireless charge if you can top your phone off in 10 minutes. All right, if you come in the house, take a quick dump and walk back out with 50% battery, you can't beat that. All right, you don't need wireless charge for that. Most phones ain't gonna wirelessly charge that fast anyway. Let's go to uh, special features. Okay, so you got split screen multitasking, you got flexible windows. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's see, smart slider. I'll show you that also. That's this right here. This is a smart slider. All right, that's so I'll go through all that stuff in a second. All right, nothing really to see there. Digital well-being, monitor your scumbag activities, okay? Let's go to one more I wanted to see. Let's go to, let's see. Um, was it under special features? No. System settings. Let's see, screenshot, screen record. You got OTG connections. Oh, there it is. It was system settings. All right, accessibility. All right, so if you're hearing visually or just generally <laughs> impaired, all of the settings on deck. Shoes, I'm talking about you. Shoes is, shoes, shoes is impaired. Shoes is emotionally impaired because you, shoes, you two are in love with me. You two emotionally impaired. You need to calm down. All right, so you got your quick ball. Basically, one hand mode, gestures and motions. Let's go see that real quick. Okay, now I haven't even played with the air gestures yet. Let's see, you got three finger screenshots. Okay, we'll leave that on. Air gestures. Okay, answer and calls. I'll leave that off. Scroll up and down. Let's um, support it apps. Let's see. Only works on TikTok. Okay, we'll try. We'll leave it for, for Instagram. Okay, learn gestures. Let's see. Okay, paste the palm. Go down. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. So it's, it's kind of like, let's see. Hold it back your hand. Fingers up. Okay, just like that. That's kind of like, uh, remember Google had it on the Pixel? Shoes, ain't nobody trying to play with you. <laughs> All right, so we'll leave that one on. Let's see. Um, play or pause videos. Let's see. That's only for YouTube. Okay, so you're just going to hold your hand like this to play and pause. Okay, we'll try that out too. Okay, so that's the ear gestures. Let's see, raise the wake. Let's see, lift the answer calls. Never never turn that on. Flip to mute incoming calls. Why not? Okay, look. Now, let, fellas, let me say this. When you're talking your shit, all right? When, when you're talking your shit, if your girl don't look at you the way White Shoes is looking at me right now, you need a new girl, all right? When you're telling your stories, how I used to be the number one athlete in high school, I used to punch people in the face for no reason, you know, your gangster chronicles. If she's not looking at you like that, she's not buying it. <laughs> I'm letting you know that right now. She was, she was, she was buying all my stories. 
All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so that's it for that. All right, that was okay. That's, that's pretty much for, <laughs> it for the settings. Now let's try the air gesture real quick. I want to see if that works. Let's let's find. Let's go to um one of my videos. This is going to be USB A out. So if you want to charge up a phone, plug in a cable right there. You got a 3.5 auxiliary. I seen the little. You got your USB Type C charging slot. That's I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. This is how you check your battery. I wasn't paying attention. Let's go to Instagram real quick. Oh, it's a family show. Okay, Instagram does work <laughs> for the air gestures. I wasn't paying attention for the YouTube. Um, I'll I'll go back in a second. Matter of fact, why not? We here. We talking. Let's go back together. Let's go to um. <laughs> Let's go to what was that? I should pause the video and do this. No, no, let's let's do this in real time. Why not? Special features. No. Okay. Did you? Now that I'm under pressure, I can't. I can't think. Choose. Let, let's see. Where was that? Oh, it was um. It was under system settings. Okay. System settings, and then we went to gestures and motions. Okay, ear gestures. Play or pause videos. When watching a video, hold your palm to the screen with your fingers pointed up. And move your finger hand toward the screen to pause. Okay, pause or play. Let's try that again. Okay. Now I don't want to. I don't want to put nobody else on blast. Getting the cable right there. You got a 3.5 auxiliary in. Okay. You got your USB Type C charging slot. That's how you're gonna charge up the speaker. Okay. You got your battery care. This is hold, how you check your battery. Okay, hold, move your palm forward to pause forward. the video. And you got your RGB light button. So you can control the RGB lights okay. using the app. That's what I'm doing. On one side, there's one of your... All right, well... <laughs> this is some gimmicky shit, but once you get the hang of it, it'll probably work. But um, it definitely works for the gram, though. All right. It definitely works for the gram. So this way, if you got your phone on the dock like this, and you eat some greasy ass chicken, you could just be like this while you're getting your scroll on. Oh, okay, hold up. Sorry, she's no, no. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, she was sorry. All right, let me exit out of that. Okay, we back. Now let's go through some of the basic stuff. Let's check the uh, web browser speeds. Now this is one of these uh, unique MediaTek processors. I would compare this to a Snapdragon 730 series. That's how it performs, in my opinion. Go to apple.com. Okay, now this is the full website. Okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. Scrolling speed, looking immaculate. Now let's check floating windows. Okay, so we open up a floating window. Bang, so now we got the apple right here floating around. We could go to Facebook and we could be browsing on Facebook and then at any moment, double tap, I'm right back to Apple. Now watch this. We can put it in the floating window, pressing the wrong dots, put it in the floating window, and then from here, swipe it to the side and have it on the side. Okay, this way, so it's out of the way. So now say I wanna take it over to, let's take it back to Instagram. Now say I'm on Instagram, my man Colin, watching a little gun video. I could always hit that button. Ranting and raving about how- And bring it back, bomb, just like that. All right, so that's floating windows. Now let's check multitasking. We'll do a little split screen. YouTube on the bottom. Thing on the other I can side. watch my video and on the bottom and scroll through Apple numbers. at the same time. That's gonna keep it in place. Okay. So it's not gonna roll around. Full multitasking. Things. You can switch it around just like now, that. Like how the retractable handle and watch this. Down, so it's gonna get out of the way. We got picture and picture. Now for the pairing process, real simple. Keep it moving. Power up the speaker. It'll automatically be in Bluetooth pairing mode. Okay. Go to your phone's Bluetooth menu and Exit select XG three hundred. There it is. All right. So the process on this is basically flagship level. All right, so now let's test out the dual speakers. And of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's 
a sound test, baby, that's a sound test, that's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit, God damn it, how Nice and loud, you can feel the bass. Look, I'm gonna cover up the bottom. Look how loud the top still is. You can feel the phone vibrating. Excellent speakers. Nice and clear. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Again, the speakers on this phone, they rival phones that cost a thousand bucks. Okay, so I would say these speakers are major go. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful 6.7 inch AMOLED display. Basically bezel-less. Okay, 800 nits brightness, not the brightest in the world, but you do have excellent viewing angles. Okay, no issues. Little punch hole camera. But it looks awesome. Here's how it's gonna look when you're watching your videos. Beautiful display with beautiful sound. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little bit of gaming. Got Asphalt 9 queued up. Oh, I'm losing. That's because I try to skip the intro. Let me get busy now. Oh, I'm about to rap. Okay, this is the closest race I've ever been in yet. Let's try 360, get fancy. Oh, two wheels. I still pulled it off, I still pulled it off. All right. <laughs> Asphalt 9, okay? No issues gaming on this phone. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now, if you look closely, this is powered by the Mary Silicone MPU. Now, what does that mean in English? I don't know, but the camera works great, okay? Let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got night mode, okay? So you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Now, on a side note, <laughs> I, I do know with the Mary Silicone, this is the neural processing unit, but we don't care about all those specs. We care about how the pictures look, okay? So you got 10 times zoom on your night pictures. Now you got video mode, okay? So you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. And again, you can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. Okay, so you got regular uh, photos, you got wide angle all the way up to 20 times scumbag zoom. Now you got portrait mode, you can change your bokeh effect. Okay, that's your background blur. Okay, and you got more. So you got pro mode, you got extra HD. Okay, that's gonna take advantage of the 50 megapixel Sony IMX. You got panoramic shots, you got macro, movie, slow motion, time lapse, dual video. So that's you front and back at the same time. You got sticker, text scanner, and you got uh, loop templates. Okay, now I want y'all to take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you spent 500 bucks on the phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now you wake up in the morning. You don't have to touch your phone. You got always on display. So you can see the time, date, battery percentage, and all of your apps that you had notifications from. Now when you're ready to get up, grab the phone, just look at it. Bong, right to your home screen. First, let's check the weather. Okay, 81 degrees, partly cloudy. Beautiful day in New York City. Exit out of that. Now let's do a little bit of work. So we're taking over to Gmail. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. Unaccepted payment for member. A work could confirm your payment. My usual response. I'm Gucci. Okay. That means no. <laughs> anyway, so that's my work segment of the day. Next, let's do a little social media. Let's take it over to Facebook. Now, while I'm on Facebook, say I want to have some fried chicken. Now we can use the air gestures, all right? So now I can be scrolling through while I'm eating my fried chicken. This is how I sound when I'm eating chicken. All right, so the air gestures, kind of gimmicky when it comes to the play and pause. Even off camera, I couldn't really get that to work too much, but the scrolling up and down, it actually does work. All right, so we got a whole bunch of Facebook stuff going on. Look at the scrolling speeds, okay? That's how Facebook is gonna look. Now, check this out. We got the TriBit Stormbox Blast. One of the best speakers of the year, one of the best deals of the year. Okay, exit out of that. Now, say you happen to be on Facebook and you wanna save this post, let's go ahead and um, make a little floating window. Save that to the side. Now, say I just wanna catch a quick picture on the low. Say you, say you got a little cat and they're back there doing something cute. You want to get a little photo. Let's get a little zoom in. Bong, there it is. And like I said, fellas, this is how shoes be looking at me while I'm telling my stories. <laughs> you can feel the love, feel the love. Now, at any moment, I can pop this open, go back to Facebook. Now, let's say we want to do a little split screen multitasking at the same time. Let's go to Facebook. Let's watch a little video at the same time. Let's see. Uh, we got some Mortal Kombat videos. Okay, so while we're on Facebook, watching Mortal Kombat, or if I want to, swap it up like this, get full screen, and if I want to do some real multitasking, exit out of that, and I have the YouTube video playing at the same time. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, so while we're on Twitter, we're still watching Mortal Kombat. Let's go to, uh, matter of fact, that's kind of distracting, so let's exit out of that. Let's go to mentions to see if anybody's talking about me. Okay, um, a seven-year-old loves white shoes and the song. <laughs> All right, the white shoes song, that's Pete the Cat, bro. Pete the Cat. I didn't make that up. Okay, the UE Drops. All right, shout out to um, King Rome. The UE Drops. Funny thing is, I want to show you something. If y'all think I'm capping, watch this. I just got an e I just got a text message from UE asking about the UE Drops. Now, these is 449 bucks. Oh, I read that wrong. When I first read this text, I thought it said 44 bucks. 450 bucks for some UE headphones? Bro, what kind of, bro. <laughs> bro, what are these smoking? Bluetooth 4.2? Bro, now I got a reply to this in real time. Let's get a reply to this in real time. Let's see. Um, now this is real life. 440 bucks. That's T-G-H. Okay, I spelled H wrong. I forgot to put my Google keypad on. Okay, that's TGH. Reply right there. Okay, now this is how it's gonna look in the real world. All right, so using Twitter, getting some JBLs delivered today. Like, like that's a boss move. Taco Surprise saved my life. Bingo. <laughs> w, now I see that. W, that means win. All right, when somebody puts just a W, that means win. All right, anyway, iPhone 14. Now look at the iPhone 14 so far. If this, I hope this is really, really what it looks like. Get rid of this dumbass George Jefferson hairline. I like this one way better. So hopefully that's how the iPhone 14 is gonna look. Okay, a little guy, some cat memes. Okay, now let's go ahead and screenshot that. Oh, I forgot um screenshot on this one. Save that for later. Okay, anyway, so this is how your Twitter's gonna look. Exit out of hold on, one more thing. Uh, RG Phone 6. All right, now I actually ordered one of those from GizTop. So it should be here maybe next week, hopefully, or sooner. All right, so that's Twitter. Let's exit out of that. Bang. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Okay, now with TikTok, same thing. 
You could use the um ear just oh, oh, oh this is a family show. <laughs> Sorry, shoes. This is a family show, bro. Damn, yo, ladies, calm down. Yeah. Okay, so we got all of the dancing. Okay, dancing teens. All right, Jamaican jerk chicken. Now this just activated my fat glands. Okay. Eminem. Okay, I like Eminem. Would I say Eminem is in my top five? No. Top ten? No. I mean, I'm not the biggest Eminem fan. I'm not gonna take nothing away from him, but there's so many more rappers that I liked better over the years. I'm sorry. It's just me. Okay, it has nothing to do with well, race or anything. I just don't like all of the, you know, the the fast raps. I like more of the, you know, MDK rap, murder, death, kill. <laughs> I ain't really too much with the suicide verses and the, you know, the, the I like MDK. Okay, family show status. Anyway, so this is how your, tour, your TikTok is going to look. Now, I actually know this kid. If y'all watch um, Power, I actually know this cat. He, um, if, if that's him, that looks like him. But me and him, we met the other day. Uh, not the other day. We met, <laughs> we met a while back at the car shop. We both go to the same um, car detailer in Brooklyn. We were chopping it up one day. You know what I'm saying? I, I never watched Power, so I don't really know about that. But anyway, okay, Law Enforcement Chronicles. Okay, now see if you're going to get locked up. This is how you want to get locked up. All right, let's exit out of that. Next, let's see any more social media we need to take a look at. Why not? Let's take a let's, let's try Instagram. I mean, Instagram is a little spicy these days. Okay, let's see. Okay, what was the baby thinking? Okay, now um, I follow this page right here. She be making some bomb ass meals, yo. And you know I'm a fat guy, so I'll be watching all the fat cook cooking shows, yo. Yo, now check this out. Y'all seen that video of the um, at Sesame Place? The whole Sesame Place Chronicles going down? Bro, look, I don't really care about all of that. Right, if, if they don't respect your kids when you go to Sesame Place, don't go to Sesame Place. Right, you got to hire these cats. Right, if you, if you want to hire, hire some cats to come dance around your kids, you better go find some dudes like this. Now, watch, watch out. And I just need y'all to see this. Watch out this. Um, <laughs> watch out this one right here. Look at Panda. Watch Panda right here. Yo. Panda is giving it up, yo. This, this, <laughs> yo. Bro, hold up. Do Panda got on Timberlands, though? I think I think the panda got on Timberlands. Oh no, no okay, that's panda feet. <laughs> I want to say, but panda is good. This, you know what I'm saying? Panda is giving it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, anyway, I'll get it, the family. Master and Dynamics. Okay, y'all know I just reviewed these. Oh, which y'all see the Master and Dynamics gaming headphones? I think those might be my new favorites. I'm gonna review those next week. Okay. Anyway, so this is how Instagram is gonna look. Okay, we're trying to keep it family friendly. Make sure y'all follow Insane Martin Payne for your daily laugh. All right, bruh man. <laughs> bruh man from the from the fifth float. Okay. Anyway, all right, so that's, um, <laughs> that's, um, <laughs> this is how Instagram looks. I'm just trying to find one photo so we can do the uh, Zoom test. Let's, let's get a little photo. Okay. If you want to zoom in, you can do that like that. Okay. Coogee Rap. Oh, yes. Coogee Rap, one of the goats. Let's get in like that. Coogee Rap, one of my all-time favorite rappers. Anyway, that's the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Anything that you could do on your flagship phone, you can do it on this, except for wireless charge. Okay? I would say that's my only thing. If this phone had wireless charge at 500 bucks, I would say this is in the runnings for best mid-range phone of the year. Now, when I say mid-range phone... I mean, mid-range phone, we got to really change how we look at that now because you got a lot of $700 phones now that are straight-up flagships. So mid-range phones, we got to say 600 bucks and under. All right, so between between four and 600 bucks, that should be the good price for a mid-range phone. Right now, Google, the Pixel 6, pretty much got that locked. All right, if you get a Pixel 6 or if you get a Xiaomi 12, all right, the regular Xiaomi 12 or a Pixel 6 for 600 bucks, you win him. But this, if it had wireless charge, it would be right up there. All right? You couldn't ignore this in the conversation. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this phone a major, major go. I can't give it three majors because it's missing wireless charge. And that's one of my live or die features. But the biometrics on this phone, the face unlock works so fast that sometimes when you're reaching to get your thumb, you see how this picked up like that? It opens before your thumb gets to the screen. I got, that, that literally happens to me a lot. Before you even touch the screen, but the, the fingerprint sensor does work flawlessly, and you'll know the difference between fingerprint sensor and face because you're going to hear the sound. Excellent biometrics, excellent speakers, beautiful display, and one of my favorite features, though, 
The battery life is amazing with the super fast charging, but that wasn't my favorite feature. My favorite feature is the look. Okay, this is one of those phones that I love to look at. I love to hold in my hand. You can't you can't put a price on this because a lot of people think that, okay, every time you see my phones, I got cases on them, but I usually don't have cases when I'm in the bed. When I'm in the bed chilling, and that's when you're using the majority of your scrolling, your scumbag activities or whatever you're doing, whatever, <laughs> whatever you're up to in the middle of the night, you want to feel your phone. You spent all of this money. Enjoy the build quality. Uh, you can't just have a big floppy case on it all the time. Before you know it, you don't remember what your phone feels like. Take the case off, put it in your hand. And in the hand, Oppo makes the best in-hand devices. All right, when you're holding this one, last year's Oppo, you don't want to put it down. This one feels like silk panties, all right? If you ever held a pair of silk panties, fellas, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is what they feel like. This year with the ceramic, this one just feels incredible. And this one has the, 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 the rounded aluminum sides as opposed to the square matte feel. This has the round with the like the uh, chromey feel to it. And it works. It feels better with the ceramic. Galaxy, they did it great too. Uh, you like to hold a Galaxy in your hand with S22 series. But I said that to say this, okay? I love this phone. Oppo, if y'all watching this video for the next integration of this phone, just bring out wireless charge. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't don't make a crazy redesign. Same design, same camera setup, everything. Just add wireless charge, add an IP rating, add 4K 60 frames per second, and this would be easily, even if after I add an extra 100 bucks for all of that, at 600 bucks, this would be one of the best mid-range phones of the year. Anyway, Oppo Reno 8 Pro, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, and Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding that at Facebook page. All right, hold on a second. Stop the music. Look at this. Y'all don't understand. You, you think it's easy, but try talking or working or doing whatever you're doing, and you got a cat looking at you like this. Look at that face. Look at that face. Anyway, <laughs> look at that. All right, let's try this again. Roll the music. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding that at Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss on that. Deuce. Forgot to turn the communicator on. Hold up, hold up. The communicator was off. I right, shoot back up a little bit. I'm going to take you with me on this trip. Back up, I'm going to take you with me. Spock, two to beam up, me and Shoes. Alright, right, Shoes, let's get up out of here. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money me all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.